Hi everyone, it's me, Diana the Doll Fairy. Welcome back to my channel. Recently, in part one of my Smart Doll Diorama video, I showed you how I built this Smart Doll Diorama. Basically out of foam boards and other materials. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. It's on my channel. So as you can see, um, the Smart Doll room is just sitting here in my room and it is quite a mess. Um, all of the dolls are just kind of strewn around along with pieces of furniture that I intend to use somewhere in the room and other random stuff like a branch of blossoms that I intend to use as decoration. <laughs> I haven't really worked on it in a long time and that's because to me this was kind of more of a fun project. However, my uh, part one of the video seemed to have a pretty good response and a lot of people seemed really excited about seeing more work on, on this project. So um, I'm really happy about that and I'm really excited to get back to working on this project. Basically I'm imagining this as a sort of like a dorm room that has a little bit of everything. Um, I want there to be a place to sleep um, and more in the middle of the room, a desk, a TV for playing video games, <laughs> um, and then on this side of the room a really really tiny little kitchenette kind of area. What we're gonna do today is I have a special package that was sent to me by Doll Furniture Studio. Uh, they are an Etsy shop that creates furniture for various scales of dolls, mostly one third scale meant for smart dolls. Um, and also I believe there's one sixth scale products there too. Um, and their work is really, really cool. I've been admiring it for a while. Basically there are, um, you can buy the fully assembled pieces of furniture or you can buy a DIY kit, um, which comes with the pieces and the instructions and you can build it yourself. But these are handcrafted wooden, you know, furniture kits and, um, and it's really quite affordable for what you're getting also. When they reached out to me to ask if I would like to try out some of their products to use in this diorama and to share with you guys, I of course was very excited and immediately said yes. <laughs> so here's the box. It's like, it's like a large box. So I'm so excited to see what's in here. So let's check it out. So let's see what's inside. Alrighty, so here we have the business card for Doll Furniture Studio. I will absolutely leave a link to the shop in the description below so that you can check it out too. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Let's see. What's this? This is foam. This is rolled up foam, which I'm guessing is for a mattress because I think, I think this is the kit for the bed which I can't tell you how excited I am about that. Oh yes, yes, this, I'm pretty sure this is like, okay, let me, let me, um, like I, <laughs> I'm not gonna put this together like right now, so I don't want to like lose any pieces or anything, but I do want us to be able to get a good look some of the pieces. So these are like little handles for the drawers that go on the bottom of the bed, which is really, really cool. So you can see here in this picture that there's little drawers at the end. That's really cool. I'm not sure what these pieces are, but they are very sturdy. So I'm sure they have some very integral, integral purpose. So this really, really pretty design is the piece that goes on the headboard, I guess. Um, I mean, it definitely is part of the headboard in some way. Um, and it's just really, really pretty. You get all these little like swirls and kind of like heart shapes. So, so we have, this is clearly the headboard here. And then these are all 
like just rectangular large-ish pieces. So I really don't know much about what pieces are gonna do what yet, but um, it says on the back of the business card to um, message Greg on Etsy for the instructions. So I will definitely do that because obviously I can't just figure this out myself. This is so cool. This I think this is gonna be really a lot of fun. I'm probably gonna feel really, really proud and happy when, <laughs> when it's built, you know? I want to also show you this. <laughs> this didn't come in the box that I just unboxed, but it is from Doll Furniture Studio. So basically this is a chair. It's another DIY kit to build a chair. And uh, I actually purchased this from Doll Furniture Studio. Um, quite a while ago and just didn't get around to building it yet. So um, yeah, so I also have um, a chair as well. I will check back in with you when I get started. Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like us. On topics including illustration, design, photography, fine art, freelancing and entrepreneurship, and so much more. Skillshare classes are for beginners, pros, dabblers, masters, and include a combination of video lessons and a class project, along with feedback from a community of millions. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level, with most classes about 60 minutes and with short lessons to fit any schedule. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, so you can stay focused and go wherever your creativity leads you. A class I've been taking recently that I'm loving is called Productivity for Creatives. Build a system that brings out your best. Taught by YouTuber and author Thomas Frank. This class is helping me to grow as a creator by adjusting my mindset as a professional, create systems in my workflow that help streamline the creation process, and even learn how to improve the quality or efficiency of my work by delegating and collaborating with others. I am being 100% genuine when I tell you that I am so happy to work with Skillshare as a sponsor because I truly believe that using the internet to connect people across the globe, to share what they know, to teach and to learn creative skills, I think that's the best thing to come out of this age of global technology, if you ask me. Right now, Skillshare is offering a special promotion. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. I highly encourage you to click on the link and try out Skillshare today and enjoy that feeling of infinite possibility that you get when you browse through their thousands of inspiring classes and realize that there is literally so much to learn and it's all at your fingertips. I love it. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to tackle this project. I'm going to start with the chair DIY kit because it includes a lot less pieces and looks really simple. I look closely at the instructions that Gregory provided to get an idea of how all the pieces will fit together. I'm using some Elmer's wood glue and applying very small amounts of it on the pegs that will be fitted together using a toothpick. Then I simply push the pegs into the holes where the two pieces connect. This is really simple, it just requires a bit of brute strength. And since that isn't my specialty, I did employ the help of one of my brothers here and there. But for the most part, I was able to fit most of the pieces together with just a bit of wiggling. As you can see, assembling the chair was very quick and easy and very straightforward. Before I knew it, I had a chair. How exciting. The kit for the bed will require a bit more concentration, attention to detail, and yes, more brute strength. As per the instructions, we need to start by assembling half of the bed structure at a time. 
This board goes between these two pieces with an up arrow and will eventually become the area where the drawers will go at the foot of the bed. This looks kind of violent, but I was really careful about how I was doing this. I slammed the pieces against my desk in order to get the pieces together because, again, strength is not my strength. <laughs> Okay, I had the arrows facing the wrong way the first time. I had to pull it apart. And it'll be lucky for me, it is okay, I think. Okay, now we've got the arrows going up. The arrows going up. Phew! So next, we're going to need to use some clamps, which I purchased on Amazon and hopefully they will work because I don't know anything about clamps. We'll need the clamps to assemble these corner pieces. So it took me a long time, but I finally figured out how the clamps work. And I clamped this. And I don't know. Hopefully that's good. I don't know. They were a little difficult to push together at times, so I very carefully used a hammer with a towel in between to buffer it so that I wouldn't damage the wood. This worked really well for me, but you have to make sure you're not hurting the pieces by striking them too hard or from the wrong angle. Now these pieces need to connect to the foot of the bed where the drawers will go. So again, I use my trusty hammer with a gentle touch. Now onto the other half of the bed. We need to connect these pieces to the headboard first. The pieces for the drawers fit together like a puzzle. Only again, you need a bit more strength to fit them together than you would if you were actually putting together a puzzle. It was really satisfying to see them come together though to form a three-dimensional drawer. See? Dull magic. Next, the frames get glued onto the fronts of the drawers. And then the headboard decoration, my favorite part, can be glued on. These boards become the sides of the bed, so I simply glue those on as well.
The footboard also gets a lovely frame to go around the drawers. This adds realism to the finished look. Putting the two halves of the bed together barely fits in my frame. It's really huge. It turns out that these pieces are the slats which will go across the top of the bed and hold the mattress in place. Now that our furniture is constructed, it's time for a paint job. I'm using Rust-Oleum paint and primer in white. I want my furniture pieces to be a simple white to match the trim in my diorama. I'm also painting a little wooden chest of drawers that I bought at the craft store ages ago. I'm spray painting in my backyard and it goes so much faster than painting with a paintbrush. I did of course run out of spray paint halfway through, so I had to buy more and then return to finish the paint job the next day. Here it is, looking very nice and fresh in its new coat of paint. I didn't glue down the slats, but I probably will eventually. The mattress fits on very nicely. Now it's time to create the bedding. I went through my fabric and came up with these options for the bedspread. I'm definitely liking the green print the most. It looks nice with the wall color and I like the vibe. I do want to note, however, that the bed is so large that it literally takes half the space in my diorama. I might not keep it in there all the time, I'm not sure yet, but it looks so nice in there, so it's definitely staying for now. Let's get started on the sewing. I'm going to use a simple white cotton for the sheet around the foam mattress. I might use these pink fabrics for accent pillows. And I definitely want to use this lace fabric on some pillows as well. I kind of messed up on the sheet though. I made it like a pillowcase to slip the foam into. However, I foolishly forgot to account for the thickness of the foam and it ended up not fitting right. So more on that later. I did a better job of measuring and deciding on the dimensions of the bedspread. I was planning to use this cream colored knit fabric for the underside when I realized that I absolutely did not have enough fabric for it, like not even close. So instead I used some white fabric that's like a sweatshirt material, which has a soft fleecy underside. This will make the blanket really soft and it should feel more like a comforter than just a blanket. Plus the white is better than off white because the bed itself is white, so it'll match better. I cut some square pillows out of the scraps from my white cotton fabric, which I will use for the lace accent pillows. For the main longer pillows, I ran out of that fabric, so instead I'm using a bit of white knit fabric, which will make the pillows feel really soft and squishy, like marshmallows. As I sew up the pillows and blanket, I make sure to leave a space so that I can turn them right side out.
Here's where I discover that I messed up the sheet and didn't have any more fabric. So I ended up ripping the seam apart and using that fabric to just wrap it around the foam like a present. And then I secured it with pins on the bottom. And no one has to know. Well, except you, of course, but don't tell anybody. The blanket is looking great. I just need to sew up the opening. I'm using the sneaky stitch where I'm careful to keep my stitches hidden inside for a very clean look. I'm stuffing my pillows with fluff that I have left over from brushing out acrylic yarn to use for doll hair. It's really soft. I want to make a soft cushion for the seat of the chair as well. I create a little pattern and then cut it out from this pastel green fabric that coordinates nicely with the bedspread. I also make two more accent pillows for the bed using this fabric to tie it all together. I give the cushion some extra stitches in the middle to give it that cushion look. I legitimately don't know what you're supposed to call that, but you get what I mean. It looks pretty cute. Now for some finishing touches. I use the drawer handles and the tiny screws that were included in the DIY kit to finish the drawers. These look so pretty. I had a little bit of the pastel fabric left, so I cut two rectangles to use as a fabric liner for the inside of the drawers. I know I should have ironed this fabric, but I didn't, so I'm sorry that it's a little wrinkly. Let's put it all together in the diorama and see how it looks. These DIY kits from Doll Furniture Studio are amazing, and I highly recommend them if you're looking for furniture for your dolls. Building these pieces was much quicker and easier than I anticipated, and the result looks wonderful. Entropy looks so comfortable lounging on this luxurious bed. It makes me want to take a nap after all that work. <laughs> I also really enjoyed getting to personalize them with my own touches, like choosing the fabrics for the pillows and the bedspread. And the best part is I can always make different bedding for a brand new look. As I mentioned, my diorama is a bit too small, so I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that yet. 
But in the meantime, I love having this furniture in it to make it look like a real miniature bedroom. So there you have it, everyone. My first venture into the world of building actual doll furniture out of wood, <laughs> courtesy of Doll Furniture Studio. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Gregory from Doll Furniture Studio for sending me this awesome DIY kit. Um, I had an awesome time putting it together and I think it looks so, so good. Like it just really elevates this diorama space that I created to something that looks more realistic and just really nice. <laughs> if you want to build your own doll diorama, I highly recommend checking out Doll Furniture Studio. Or even if you don't want a diorama and you just want to have like this, you know, bed to display or a chair to display with your dolls, um, I definitely recommend checking them out and maybe trying out a DIY kit. It was a lot of fun and it wasn't super hard at all. The link will be in the description below, so definitely check it out. I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons. It's thanks to their support that all of this doll magic is possible. So thank you so much for supporting me and for supporting my artwork. And thank you again to our sponsor, Skillshare. Go to the description below for the link to your free trial of Skillshare Premium, as well as links to Doll Furniture Studio so you can check out what Greg has available in his Etsy shop. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, um, because there will be more videos showing the progress of this diorama project. It's not over yet. <laughs> There's still a lot to do uh, to make this room what I want it to be. So um, definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. I have been nearing 100K subscribers for a really long time now and I really wanna get there. So if you wanna help me out, <laughs> please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching everybody um, and I can't wait to see you all again for more doll magic. Bye!